Hey my loves, I'm back with another video. And this is a birthday video for Vicky. Happy birthday, Vicky. Glitter Sparkle Nail Design. She's on Facebook and I mean YouTube and Instagram. I'm not sure about Facebook. But I want you guys to wish happy birthday. This is another collab from the Glitter Girls. And we just want to show our love and appreciation. So you guys, let's get started with these nails right here. Alright, let's get on to it. Alright, so right here I'm just showing everybody what I'm going to be using for my nails. Um, right here I got some unicorn. It's a unicorn uh, foil. I'm going to put a little close up so you guys can see it better. You can't really see. I'm not really sure what color that really is. And here's her name for you guys. Um, you got to look her up on Instagram. And YouTube as well, okay? And I'll leave her a uh, link below also in the description. So with that first polish, um, I couldn't open it, so I decided to use this one. It was close enough. I was trying to find baby blue, but it's close enough. And this one is Maffy. Um, I got it off of AliExpress, I believe. It was like a four, uh, eight pack for like four dollars. They're like super small, you guys. It's like a six milliliter five milliliter bottle of polish so this polish right here when I first tried it um it went on really good it still does it's pretty much a one coater but if you want that like full full coverage I would do two coats it's very pigmented though very opaque not a hundred percent but you know good enough I'm going to put this in the UV lamp and flash carrot for a minute. And then we're going to get onto the other nail. So I'm probably going to start with the pink nail, you guys. Yeah, I'm going to do the pink nail. I had to plug it up. I, man, I keep getting to plug it up my uh, USB thing. Okay, so we got the pink. It's from Homos. So I couldn't really tell you what kind of like color it is because this is a number and it's number 203. And I'll put that down below also. This one, um, you have to make sure it's not too cold like this one was. So it's kind of like really, really thick. But um, I did a video on this one too. I'll put it in the description below. But yeah, it's very, very... It's very, very easy to go on also as well. Very smooth. Very opaque. I think I did one coat with this one, but knowing me, I probably did two anyway, just because. So that's the pink right there. I think I'm going to put the glitter on the pink right there on that one. The whole thing. Okay, let's get to the next nail, you guys. Okay, so um, this nail I'm going to put on the glitters from Beatles, uh, the pink confetti connect collection. <laughs> connection. Collection. I really love this one because it's so sparkly and glittery, you guys. You guys see that? It's like um, you get different shades of pink, and there's like a little blue in there, a little green. And you yellow, but the main thing you mostly see is pink. And sorry I'm out of frame, you guys. My apologies for that. Oh, that is so pretty. Every time I see it. So, so pretty. Oh, 
Okay, so with this nail, um, I was going to put on the foils on this one. So I'm using the uh, foil glue from AliExpress as well. It is Full Beauty. I think it's Full Beauty. I believe it is. Um, the reason why it looks like a little watery when it goes on, like it's separating, is because I put alcohol on it and I don't think I let it dry all the way. But what you want to do, you can put one or two coats on this. But I prefer two, and this time I only put one by accident. But if you want to get full coverage and get the whole foil onto the nail, I would suggest that you guys do two coats. Just let it dry completely before you apply. And don't make the mistake I did because I accidentally uh, forgot to cut stuff off and it was a whole mess. You guys will see later in the video. So for this nail, I wanted to mix both of the colors together. Um, it was kind of giving me like an ice cream vibe or a boy or girl vibe for like someone expecting a baby or whatever. But I wanted to like mix the colors together to kind of like get like an ombre effect and I didn't have the right brush for it so I tried to use what I had and improvised. And basically I'm just trying to blend them together with this uh, fanny brush right here So I let this dry, and right now I'm going to try to apply the foil. <laughs> it's kind of a little difficult because I didn't have the right tools when I was doing this. So I'm trying to hold the um, nail brush and the foil at the same time and try to put it on to the nail itself. So I was trying to figure out here which way I wanted it to go. I was kind of confused and lost, and I was trying to figure out if I really wanted to put it on the blue or not but I decided to do it anyway and I kind of messed up I forgot to cut it out and the whole thing basically laid down so I was like ah uh, see I tried to pull it off and I was like forget it so I decided to put everything was on there and I try to work it out but I also figured I could use alcohol to take it off you just need to like scrub it a little bit like scrape it off a tiny bit and it'll come right off It's kind of hard to see. I should have put on the pink, you guys, but it is what it is. So now since I got that out the way, I'm going to apply a top coat right now. Um, with a, like if I was actually doing my nails or something, I would put um, I'll either put some poly gel, or some builder gel, or some rhinestone gel. First, then the top coat. But since I'm just doing it this way, I'm gonna apply top coat. I'm using Amy Lee, and right now I'm just applying the beads. The rhinestones, the little baby ones, I'm using the dark blue and the light blue. And I will speed the video up and I'll be back, you guys.
So for this nail, I'm applying the faux glue as well. I was going to um, try to do a little design with that as well. So I'm going to set that to the side and let it dry. And for this one, I'm applying the top coat as well. And I'm going to apply the rhinestones. I'm going to use the dark pink and the light pink for this one. Let me zoom out a little bit. So you want to apply enough to where they sink in into the um, gel. But since these are so small, you actually don't need a light and it will sink in very good. So I'm struggling again. I'm trying to figure out which side I want to uh, use from the foil. Because it has like flowers on it and stuff. It's like a wreath of flowers. So I wanted to try this side, but I realized it wasn't going to work. So I tried this side and I forgot again about laying it down and cutting it. So that whole picture transferred again. As you can see, I tried to pull it off and I realized it wasn't going to happen. There you go. I really tried, you guys. So the video kind of cut out, and I, I guess the battery died, you guys. So this is the finished product. I hope you enjoy, and I hope you enjoy this, Vicky. And happy birthday again. And I hope your birthday... It's the best this year. You know, it's 2020. It's a new year. I hope it's better than last year. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I leave a playlist for all the other ladies that participated. Check them out on Instagram. And watch their videos here on YouTube. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright. Bye. Oh, and also I put a picture at the end too, you guys. You'll be able to see the actual design that's actually on the nails because it's kind of hard to see the camera's not picking it up at all but yeah i like those two together i should have done those two in a different color but hey it is what it is i hope you enjoy talk to you later bye